Hi guys, this is Tor from TC, and we're here in Amsterdam with uh, our sales guy Han. Hi Han. Hi there, Tor. And um, as you'll probably notice also from a few of the shots uh, around here, um, Han has an awful lot of gear. <laughs> Way too much, you should give me some. <laughs> okay, 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 no problem. <laughs> um, no, but what we've been doing is some tone prints from, uh, for some different cool uh, vintage gear. So we did the tri-chorus and now we've uh, picked up the old PCM60 from, uh, from Mexico, yeah. which is a classic, classic reverb. Um, and we kind of noodle around with it for a bit and uh, found a nice setting on uh, uh, a nice room sound yeah, yeah, that uh, we decided to to kind of duplicate or mm -hmm. replicate or recreate whatever you want to call it um, using the tone print editor. So uh, let's hear how it sounds and then we can compare it to what we came up with afterwards. Okay, cool. <laughs> So let's switch that over. We'll bypass the lexicon, turn this on. So that same kind of classic yeah, lexicon, yeah, shimmery, lexicon shimmer. Yeah, yeah it's, it's there. It's not super natural sounding, but it's kind of it's kind of artificial, but in a good way. Yeah, you, you start loving it. I mean, yeah, I've been playing around with it for a while. It's beautiful. So, what you can also do—it's a very simple machine. This one, so you can basically change the uh, the decay mm -hmm. of the of the reverb instead of with a continuous controller like you typically do today. It's basically four push buttons. Yeah. So we can make the uh, decay longer. Like that, and I just have to do this. And we change it over, yeah. So very nice one, very yeah, long. Beautiful. If we then go over here, we basically map the decay knob so that when you set it at roughly between two and three o'clock, you get the same length of, okay. uh, of decay. Yeah, nice one. And then just to go crazy, you can also crank this up far beyond what the lexicon would do. Now you can really hear that yeah. kind of uh, modulated reverb tail. Yeah. And vice versa, if you want to go, if you want to make it shorter and a little bit more subtle, then you can press the, uh, uh, the uh, not the, the minimum one, but the in-between kind of. Yeah, you get... So quite short and comparing that to the tone print. So again, if you back this down and now we set it between nine and 10 roughly. And the last one, let's switch over to the lexicon again and pick the, uh, the shortest decay time, which okay. is almost, it's barely noticeable. It's just a little atmosphere or whatever around your, the notes. Just hear it kind yeah. of open Short up the one. sound a bit. 
and then we can do the same thing, just backing the decay all the way off. Yeah, you can hear it close. So that's the tone print, and I think you know it's something that works great if you if you want those kind of 80s big process sounds. Um, Something that moves, especially like clean guitar around a bit, it's, it's a super cool sound. Yeah, together with the chorus and... Yeah, yeah try it out with the tri-chorus. That's basically what you need. Yeah. So um, have fun with that as well. Cheers. Cheers.